What's good, everybody? Welcome to the basement of the Jays 2.0. Shout out to the Container Store for their partnership. We have here the Alpha Closet System. I was able to help design this in a way that I wanted to fit in with my collection with these shirts here and then the socks by Original Roughneck, then the Jordan branding socks. Then I have my little table here for doing my folding of things then my Jordan brand shirts down here and here and then what I really love is I was able to bring out and display all of the different jerseys that I have starting from high school college to the Olympics the Bulls, coming back from retirement, coming off retirement with the Wizards slash Bullets, and then also some of my clothing, jackets, also the drop fronts, which was major, major for me. I know I said I was never gonna go to them, but it's just so convenient to have, to just be able to see your entire collection right in front of you. And all you gotta do is flip them down and pull them out. Easy to put back and close up. Also, my son came up with the template, all the different templates that they have for the different uh, labels on the shoe boxes. And I've been able to uh, type them up on the computer and print them out and stick them on. Um, Got rid of a lot of my boxes, but I do have a lot of the boxes up top and I did keep uh, at least one of each of the boxes, the different styles. Just pull out a few for you to look at. And I also have the jersey for this. Shout out to Trippy Main Gym, where I got that jersey from. Like I said, easy in, easy out, all of that. You know, start over here with the one section. So this is all of the ones. And then we start working our way down to the twos, candy pack twos, right in here. Then we have our threes. A shoe that many people would love to see come back. The Mocha threes. Like I said, it's easy in, easy out. Makes it so convenient to pull them out. And I left some empty for, you know, pickups that I'm going to make in the future. Down here. The Travis Scott's. I did a lace swap on them, went with the Leather Boys from Sneakerhead Clothing Line. Shout out to them. The Cause. Here's the Fives and the Sixes. Sample size. 13 and a half of the motorsports. Took me a while to locate this shoe. Sixes and the sevens. I showed you the jacket earlier to the Pacifics, AKA ceramics. Then we get to my all time faves, the grade eights. I love to see this one come back with the red pull tab on the back. The OG of the playoff. And we hit the, the nines and the tens. 
I dubbed these the Purple Rain Tins. I got these in the mail on the day that Prince passed away. Then we continue with the 11s, 12s, and 13s over here. K54 13s. Here's an example of pulling them both out and putting them both in. It just makes it so much simpler to be able to see what you want to rock each day. Then we come back over on this side and hit the 13, continue with the 13s and the 14s. And then we start with the 15s right here. OGs. You can see that oxidation sitting in. Can't prevent that. That's going to happen. Then we continue and hit the 15s again. The 16s and the 17s. And the 18s. Then we start with the packages. Right here. I've Broke them out of the packages and put them all in drop fronts. Then we go around this little corner here and hit the 18s, the 19s, and the 20s. Some people know them as the 2009s, 2010s, 2011s, and then they pick back up with the numbers again. Then we get this section. That's when we start with the PEs. And I went started off with the Jeter PEs. The 11 lows right here. That motion in the ocean. Then here. Vin Baker. With his PEs. You've been mossed, Randy Moss, the 84 on the tongue. There are some others there. Then we continue over here with Rip Hamilton, Ray Allen. Here's a pretty rare pair you don't see every day. The Ray Allen 15 when he was with the Bucks with the ray on the pull tab. Sonics 20. The lasering on the lace strap. Good friend of mine, Fred Jones. Game worn. T.S. Terror Squad, Fat Joe's crew. Really, really dope. Glad to have that in the collection. Then we just continue on with more P.E.s. Roy Jones Jr. The first training shoe. And you know, he's had several Several training shoes. Then we have Carmelo, Chris Paul, um, and this one here was based off of MJ, his body fat called the Jordan 2%. Golf shoe. I just took the taps off the bottom and I was actually wearing them as casual shoes. But they are golf shoes. Then we start here with Go Blue with Michigan. It's the Westbrook 
then we have the Michigan 12, then we have some of the training shoes. Then down here we have the Oregon 3s. More of the packages. The Levi with the jeans and the shirt. As well as the original Levi package. The ones. Then we just start with some of the the team shoes, the non the non Jordan shoes, some Converse, some foams, um, some Nikes, some KDs, and then just going around the outer part here is just some of the team shoes um, that I have. The Jumpman, the Jumpman Pros, and going back this way are some more of the team shoes and the Futures. These are the premiums the, with the 3M on them. These are a lot of people's least favorite shoes, but, but I like them. And back on this side back here are some more of the Trunners, the Six Rings. These are the original Six Rings or the first edition of them. Spizikes right in here. The Fly Legends. Classic 87s. And we also have some of the Jordan boots. The six boots. And a lot of people's least favorites. The Fusion. These used to come LS style with the gear and everything. I have some shorts and shirts to go with those. And that's it through the fusions. Went to Dallas. I was blessed with 800 uh, drop fronts. But before that, I started off with 18. And I, like I said, I had already said I wasn't gonna go to drop fronts because I love my boxes but my boxes started breaking down and I knew that I needed more room. This, the drop fronts just definitely give you more room to, to work with is a lot. This process was just breaking down the racks, moving the shoes, and then just bringing them down the stairs box by box and just taking them out and stacking them up and just getting the flow and, and getting my the, my setup in my mind, how I wanted to do it, which goes along the outer wall, starting with the ones and just going all the way around in the team shoes in the middle. And definitely love the look of it. And uh, hated that it took me so long to do it because I, I definitely love the process. And being able to come down here and just see how much clearer and cleaner it looks and it's just a totally different basement with it set up like this and even with the alpha system with the with the closet when i first saw it in the store i inquired about it and they said yeah you can design it to to fit the way you want it in the space that you want it to and this is what i came up with their designers tweaked it a little bit and I love the, the tweaking that they put on it, the extra uh, cabinet spaces below for my shirts and shorts and socks. And, and I even have a little junk drawer to keep stuff in that I use on a daily basis. And it just makes it a lot cleaner to display some things. I, fall weather is coming, so I have my hoodies already ready. 
some of my hats up top and uh, container stores that spot. They have a lot of stuff in there that you may not even think that they have because when people hear container, they think it's just containers, but they have a lot more than just containers in the store. So uh, big shout out to them. I appreciate them inviting me down to Dallas and, and uh, blessing me with, with the partnership.